talk more about Harvey. Uh, still in the storm zone there is our a ABC's Gio Benitez, who's in Lake Charles this morning. Good, me good morning, Gio. Hey, Rob, good morning to you. The floodwaters are really receding in parts of southeast Texas, but make no mistake about it. Even with Harvey long gone, the storm is still causing massive problems across the state. Overnight, a massive fire breaking out at this Houston area chemical plant for a second straight day. The chemicals stored there only stable if kept cold, but under six feet of flood water, the plant lost all power, killing the refrigeration system. Authorities evacuating residents living within a 1.5 mile radius Tuesday and warning this is not the end. The product is going to ultimately warm up, it's going to begin to degrade, and then it's going to catch fire just like it did today. And in Beaumont, Texas, desperation setting in with yet another day without water after the flood knocked out the water supply. Some waiting seven hours in a line going for miles, all for that critical drinking water. Sorry about Thank the you. delay. That's all right. Thank you all so much. The city has no water, so we're doing the best we can to supply water for these people. People in such need, they're even scooping up water from smelly drainage canals for household needs like flushing toilets. The neediest patients here choppered out from a hospital, including more than 10 babies in intensive care. The Air Force evacuating the nearly 1,000 residents who already had to evacuate once. The nearby Neches River rising, flooding parts of Beaumont that officials need dry to fix the water supply problem. Beaumont is working aggressively at a fast pace to try to get the water system fixed. But a very different scene just 40 miles east here in hard hit Orange County, Texas. Signs of relief as the massive floodwaters we saw here just days ago now begin to recede quickly. We joined truckloads of troops looking for anyone who might still be trapped. And this morning we are here in Lake Charles. President Trump will make a stop here today to meet with members of the National Guard and volunteers from the Cajun Navy. Dan and Paula, I got to tell you, these folks are the true heroes here. They helped rescue so many people affected by Harvey. Yeah, in the worst of times, we're seeing some of the best in people. Thank you so much for your reporting, Gio. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.